Hey guys, it's Salam and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I am going to be talking to you guys about the ultimate drugstore makeup starter kit. So these are products that I recommend to you to start off with if you are jumping into makeup, if you want to learn about makeup, if you're looking for new drugstore products. And this is really, really beginner friendly as well. So like I said, if you are starting off with makeup and you're not really sure where to start or what to buy, then hopefully this starter kit is going to be a jump start to helping you guys pick out the products and, you know, at least know what to pick out when you do go drugstore shopping and yeah i really really hope you guys enjoy it these are the products so the products i picked out today are pretty much some that you've heard of before and some that you probably haven't heard of before as well because i don't want to just keep recommending you guys things that you probably have already seen but most importantly i picked out these products really really carefully and i really thought it through because of the formulas it's going to be super beginner friendly because the formula is going to be super easy to work with it's going to give you coverage without having to do too much work and these products are pretty much going to do the makeup work for you and without you having to put a lot of effort in so if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button i hope you enjoy your stay here but without further ado let's just jump straight into the ultimate drugstore starter kit so starting off with face primer, I really, really recommend the e.l.f. Paula's Putty Face Primer. Now, not only do I recommend this one, but they actually have three different types. So they have the Paula's Putty Primer, which is this one. They have a matte and they also have a luminous finish as well. This is a great, easy primer to start out with because you literally just take a little bit of your finger, put it all over your face or just in the T-zone or pore area uh, if you have larger pores and if you have oily skin. And then depending on your skin type, you can pick if you prefer the matte finish, the luminous finish, or the poreless one and I have the poreless one here so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like I have dug into this pretty much already I actually have two of these and I love this stuff if you are a beginner it's so beginner friendly because you don't have to do too much you just put it on your skin and it leaves you with this really soft and smoothed kind of blurred effect on the skin and then you can go in with your foundation afterwards. Not only does it make your foundation last a long time, but it does smooth out any pores that you may have, any fine lines, anything like that. It's so great at hiding imperfections on the skin and just making it look super blurred. And I actually have this on underneath my foundation today. Now jumping into foundations, I have two recommendations. One is more for drier skin and then one is more for oily skin. They are both a medium to full coverage. So that's also great when buying drugstore foundations. You wanna look for something that starts off medium because then you can shear it out, you can wear it medium or you can build it up to a full coverage don't start off with anything too full coverage unless that's what you're looking for um, because when you have something that's too full coverage then it's harder to share out one i really recommend for oily skin is the wet and wild photo focus foundation they also have a dewy version but i recommend the original one for oily skin and this one is a great one because it leaves you with a soft matte finish so what that means is it's not going to look drying and give you a really cakey matte finish it's just going to leave you with a soft natural look look but at the same time keep those oils at bay and this one is a great foundation it's super 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 cheap and affordable and everyone loves wet and wild i mean it is one of the great drugstore brands out there it also has light diffusing properties in this foundation which means it's gonna like i say give you a soft matte finish but it's almost gonna give you a little bit of a glow at the same time in a natural way it's not gonna leave you looking shiny or anything like that so this is a great finish as well and a great coverage so again you can build this wet and wild foundation up and then one for dry skin that i really recommend is the nyx born to glow such a great foundation it's super super hydrating that is the number one thing which if you have dry skin i have dry skin i love 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 this um foundation because it is super hydrating i actually have it on today as well the shade i have is light and in the wet and wild i have soft ivory this one i love it even says it's a naturally radiant foundation which it really is it looks super natural super radiant but in a wearable way and it's medium coverage and you can't go wrong with it. It's, it lasts all day as well. These two foundations, the reason I picked these out as well is because they are super long wearing. If you set it with a little bit of powder, you're good to go. And with that primer, seriously. The next one I'm gonna talk about is a concealer that everyone loves, this brand and this concealer, and it is the e.l.f. 16 Hour Wear Camo Concealer. They have a hydrating version again, but I really love this one because it's still a soft matte finish but 
Again, it's not super matte and super drying under the eyes, which you don't want anything that's super matte under the eyes. And it's 16 hour wear. It really does uh, wear a long time. I wouldn't say it's it wears 16 hours, but it definitely wears up to a full eight hour day. So if you're working for eight hours, then it's great for that as well. Again, I have this one on. Pretty much everything I'm recommending today, I have on my face, apart from my eyes. That's the only thing that I um, changed up. This concealer, the reason I'm recommending it is Again, it's a full coverage, which I would recommend going medium coverage with your foundation and then full coverage with your concealer because then you can spot conceal any blemishes and then just have a really, really nice full coverage bright under eye. But the main reason I'm recommending it is because of the shade range. Unbelievable how much shades they have. Um, and so that's why I recommend this one as well because you will be able to find your shade guaranteed. And I just think it's such a great concealer and it's super affordable. I think it's like $5, so... You can't go wrong with that. And then to set the concealer, one drugstore product that I'm gonna recommend to start off with is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, which looks like this. I have it in the shade Fair, but they have, again, many shades to choose from. And this one is such a great loose powder. You can bake with it, you can set your under eyes with it, you can set your whole face with it. If you have any dryness, dry patches, or bumps or anything like that, this is just gonna smooth it out and look super blurred on the skin. Lightweight, translucent coverage, fresh and natural look. So I really recommend the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. One powder that I think not many people talk about is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This one again comes in a few shades, but the one that I love it in is in transparent, so it has no color to it, which is great for all skin tones. And I really, really love the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder because it sets your foundation in place, and I mean, it keeps your foundation on forever, okay? I have this on all over my face and then the Maybelline under the eyes. This truly keeps your foundation on and it just locks it into place. It just leaves you with a flawless finish and who doesn't want that? So I really recommend to start off with uh, a setting powder like that. And then within that same range, I also recommend their bronzer, which is the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. And this also says it's a waterproof bronzing powder. I've never heard of a waterproof bronzer, which is interesting. I'm actually going to Spain on Saturday, so I'm gonna be in the pool and I'm probably gonna be testing this out to see if it is really waterproof. But this one is in Sun Bronze. I believe they only have like three shades to choose from, which is the only downside to this product. But the reason I love this bronzer is it's a matte finish, but it has the slightest subtle sheen as well, which means, again, I have it on today, which means it's gonna give you a nice glow, but still keep matte if that makes sense um it's not a shimmery bronzer by all means it's gonna add a lot of warmth to the skin as well especially these two because they are the same line and same formula uh, they blend really really nicely on top of each other so for blusher i actually recommend the elf blush palette so i don't recommend single blushes i mean i do but i feel like if you're starting off you want something or you want to get your money's worth so this is a great palette because i think it only retails for like seven pounds or seven dollars and you get four blushes inside and you also get um, a darker blush palette as well so this is the light one that I have but they also have a darker one if you are of a medium to deeper skin tone so do check out that one as well but this is the one for light skin tones and I love this blush palette I mean like I said you get your money's worth because you're paying seven dollars for four blushes that works out to be less than two dollars each it's crazy and not only is it super affordable and you get your money's worth the pigmentation and the wear of it is so amazing i mean i'm wearing the peach one um this one right here today it has a little bit of a shimmer to it the rest are almost kind of matte this one basically comes with a bright pink up here a deeper pink a nice coral peach shade and then this is almost like a contour so i guess you could bronze your face with this if you're fair like me if you're of a darker skin tone then you could probably use this as like a neutral blush shade but i love this elf blush palette i think it's such a great one to start off with and rather than buying single blushes and not knowing which brand to go for just go for something like this you have four different shades all in one and the pigmentation is great as you can see i just used like i barely used it and i got quite a lot of pigment out of it. moving on to one of my favorite products which is highlighter as you can see i am glowing on the cheeks today and that is all thanks to the revolution beauty reloaded highlighters so this is a great one to start off with one that i really recommend as well is the wet and wild mega glow highlighting powders those are great um but the reason i'm recommending this is because i feel like no one really talks about these so the reloaded highlighters are basically baked highlighters 
but they have a texture to them and it is like the softest buttery highlight you'll ever touch. The one I'm wearing today is this one which is called Raise the Bar. It's a really, really soft gold colour and then one that I really love as well is called Just My Type, which is more of a pale peachy pink sorry <laughs> pale peachy pink and these are great highlighting powders because they melt into the skin really really nicely and you can build it up if you use a light hand with it you can give yourself more of a subtle glow but if you do you know go heavy handed with it then you can get a really really like blinding highlight out of it and again super affordable it's like four dollars i mean you can't beat that with a stick. Let's talk brows. This is the Revolution Pro Line. Same brand, but it's just their Pro Line. It's the Define and Fill Micro Brow Pencil. This one is in dark brown that I have. It is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil. It is such a great pencil to start off with, um, especially if you're a beginner to doing brows as well. I'm not the best at doing brows, but I really recommend this one because it makes it super easy for me. And if it's easy for me, it's gonna be easy for you guys. And I love that it has a twist up pencil and a brush on one end. It's super, super, super soft. So it just glides on so easily and it makes doing your brows a lot easier as opposed to just spending a lot of time on them. It really fills it in really quickly. And then moving on to eye primer. Now eye primer is essential because if you are starting out with eyeshadows, you're gonna find that your eyeshadow doesn't either stay on for that long or it doesn't look like how it looks on my eyes. And you know, sometimes when you go on Instagram and you're seeing how people's eyes pop, like the eyeshadow pops, or it just lasts a long time. Um, you're not gonna get that if you don't use an eye primer. So eye primers are great because it's it's gonna increase the longevity of your eyeshadow and it's also gonna give you a high payoff. One that I recommend is super affordable. It's the e.l.f. Sheer Shadow Lock Eyelid Primer. That's a mouthful. It hasn't got any color to it, which is great because whatever eyeshadow you use is not gonna disturb um, you know, the base is not going to disturb your eyeshadow. And yeah, I really, really recommend this one. It's super long wearing for it to be e.l.f. This is one of um, their best sellers anyway. They've had this for years and years and years and people still buy it to this day. Like myself, I'm always buying it when I finish it. And this is what I use today to make my eyeshadow pop. If I didn't use this primer, my eyeshadow won't be popping like it is right now. This is the ColourPop California Love Eyeshadow Palette. I think for the price you pay, it's a little more on the pricier side of drugstore but for the price you pay it beats any other drugstore palette and brand when it comes to eyeshadows i think ColourPop do the best eyeshadows and i think they're pretty much known for their eyeshadow palettes right so um the reason i recommend the california love palette as well is because it's an all warm toned eyeshadow palette and if you are starting off in makeup this is really really beginner friendly because no matter what skin tone you are, whether you're super fair or super dark, warm tones are gonna be super flattering on you. Really, really great mattes, dark browns, light browns, and you can create um, any look with this palette from day to night. And that is why I recommend it. I think if you splurge a little bit more on this palette, you will have it literally for years and years and years, and you will find yourself reaching for this more. Next, moving on to eyeliner, the NYX Epic Ink Liner. You know I always use this in almost every single one of my makeup tutorials or videos. Um, this is a great drugstore eyeliner. The reason I recommend a felt tip liner when starting out is because it's basically uh, mimicking a pen. So you can draw and create whatever you want and you have control of the eyeliner. So you can pretty much free style it, freehand it, and do whatever you want with an eyeliner like this. If you're using a liquid eyeliner that you have to dip into, those tend to be even more tricky. Even I struggle with those because you don't have too much control over the product. This is more like a pen. So if you hold it closer to the tip, you can really draw it on your eyes and create a really, really nice wing. It says waterproof. So that's why it stays on all day as well. And yeah, just a great one to have. I recommend for starting out with mascara, the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara. It's super, super full. And what that's gonna do is really, really, really make your lashes super curled and lift them up. And it's gonna look really, really uh, volumized. And that's what you want when it comes to mascara. So anything that has a big brush, don't be scared of it. I know it looks intimidating, but mascaras that tend to have bigger brushes give you more you know, fibers and give you more product and then it's gonna really lift those lashes up. And it's super popular. I think it's one of the most popular mascaras of the drugstore. So 
you know I'm recommending you guys the best one out there. So last but not least, it is lips and then setting spray. So for lips, hands down, one of the best lip liners to start off with and at the drugstore is the NYX Slim Lip Pencils. Not the suede line, but the actual original OG NYX lip liners. They are so creamy and soft. They're not drying, they don't tug at the lips and they just glide on really, really, really smoothly. So it's gonna make for an easy application when starting off with lip liner, especially if you're not good at lining your lips these are gonna make your life super easy so one that I recommend for everyone is the shade natural which is what I have on today it is just I will show you what it looks like it is the most perfect brown lip liner and because it's a neutral shade again it's gonna go for any skin tone so natural is a great one I also have soft brown which is even darker rose which is a really 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 pretty pink like for pink lipsticks so i love the nyx lip liners i think they make your life super super easy and then for lipstick this is i mean it's quickly become one of my favorites anyway and it's such a great drugstore matte lipstick so this is a matte formula so these are the la girl flat velvet lipsticks and that's what i really love about it is it's a velvety texture so it's a matte formula but it's super super comfortable on the lips as you can see my lips are matte right now and it is so comfortable. It's not a drying matte, it's a really, really creamy, smooth matte. And it really, really looks like velvet on the lips. So this shade in particular that I have on is called, ooh la la. Ooh, that's the one I have on. And it is just the perfect peachy nude. If you are pale, this is what it's gonna look like. And I, it looks, lighter on the hand as you can see but i did use that natural lip liner from nyx i blended it in and then put this lipstick in the center and it created a beautiful uh, natural nude lip because the eyes are too heavy and these lipsticks by la girl they have so many shades as well um so many to choose from so i will have a link down below for you guys to check it out and these are the maybelline vivid hot lacquer lip glosses or whatever they're called lacquers i don't know why they're different sizes i did get this one in the uk and this one in the us so maybe the uk the size is smaller i don't know why why does the UK do that? But yeah, Vivid Hot Lacquer Lip Glosses by Maybelline. If you're looking for a great lip gloss, then this is it. And they're super comfortable on the lips as well. Not sticky whatsoever. And they give you a good coverage as well. Like it's, let me show you. you it's one swipe and you get a lot of color. Look at that for lip gloss, it's insane. And we are at the last product, which is the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist for setting spray, which I recommend. Now, there are tons of setting sprays at the drugstore, but the one that I recommend is this one because it's super hydrating. It hydrates and it makes you look glowy. So this is just one of the best setting sprays that I have found at the drugstore. There are so many more. The Wet n Wild um, setting sprays are great as well but I just love this dewy setting mist one. It has coconut as well. If you love coconut, coconut is obviously good for moisturizing and hydrating the skin. So this is just a great, great, great setting spray. I recommend the e.l.f. setting sprays, but specifically the dewy one. So that was everything that I recommend for your drugstore starter kit. I hope you found this video really helpful. Let me know down below if you're gonna purchase any of these, if you already have them, what your favorite drugstore products are. And yeah, so I really recommend these ones because they're so beginner friendly drugstore friendly it's super affordable as well and i did recommend a few products that maybe you guys haven't heard of before or maybe haven't seen around youtube and i wanted to just bring some new products for you guys as well as always if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time i will speak to you guys all in my next video